Welcome to our channel. Ariel Winter shows off Star Wars Grogu onesie, and I think Din Djarin would be greetingly approve. Though she may be best known for spending over a decade making audiences laugh as one of TV's most beyond her years use, Modern Family's Alex Dunphy, Ariel Winter's talents certainly aren't limited to comedic projects. The animal-adoring actress has brought the goods to the majority of major TV and film genres, though it's arguable that she's perhaps least accomplished in the sci-fi and fantasy realms. That said, she did go to fake space for Fox's stars on Mars and has now shown off her kickass Grogu onesie from a galaxy far, far away. And you can't tell me Pedro Pascal's Din Djarin would deny how adorbs they are. Winter, who is still rocking her vivid Jessica Rabbit-esque redhead look, took to Instagram with a mini photo dump from what appears to be a splendidly relaxing trip to Napa Valley's Carneros Resort and Spa. And while I would never attempt to deny the loveliness of her baby doll dress, her hat, and the scenery at large, it's perhaps telling that I'm way more into Star Wars onesies around the house than tipping wine bottles in the sun. Ain't no shame in the wearing a onesie, fanny pack, and tennis shoes 350 days out of the year game, especially when the jammies are so strong with the force as those are. I kinda wish there was a mock covering pram around the waist, but that would probably be pretty cumbersome and not something one would want to throw on for 99% of 2023. Now. Obviously wearing something that features the centuries-old being does not indicate that Ariel Winter herself would want to take part in a future season of The Mandalorian or in any of the upcoming Star Wars movies, such as Dave Filani's upcoming mega-crossover film. But what if she did? Would that be a possibility at any point? Why Ariel Winter and David Arcutt's spooky new video game, The Quarry, should be played by anyone who loves horror movies. Considering quite a few of Ariel Winter's past projects were directly tied to Disney, Modern Family, Sophia the First, Captain Jake and the Neverland Pirates, Minnie's Bow Tunes, Milo Murphy's Law, and the aforementioned Phineas and Ferd, the connections are already in place for her to make contact with the powers that be behind Star Wars. Even if it was just for a voice role, that would be pretty badass. And hey, since she co-starred with her TV dad, Ty Burrell, in the Mr. Peabody and Sherman movie, maybe you could also join in on this completely hypothetical Star Wars appearance that I'm pretending is happening. Thanks you for watching. Stay connected with us for more videos.